Good afternoon, Year 2. I thought I would mix things up a little bit and do a video for your afternoon subject today. OK, so I'm just going to share my screen with you and show you this how to guide for JIT5 Turtle. So I'm going to show you how to do the lesson. But if after the video you think, oh, I can't remember what she said about that, then this is underneath the video and you click on it and print it out or um, just read through it again to say if I'm to listen to the whole video again to help you. OK, so that's there. You can just scroll down. It tells you the instructions. It looks really complicated when you see it like that. But when I show you, you realise it's really simple. OK, so you can either click on the link here um, which brings up the web page, or you can type that into your web browser and it will come up. It won't let me do that within this video for some reason, so I'm going to open a page that with it on that I opened earlier. Oh, I just need to share my screen again. There we go. So this is what it comes up with when you click on that link. Okay, and we're going to start on the big bad wolf background. So click on that one, and then you will see that you've got this picture here, this grid, with the wolf and as in the Three Little Pigs story, you've got a straw house, a house of sticks and a house of bricks. And you can see that you've got some arrows and some pictures of pens here on the wolf character. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take it off simple to advanced because simple, the wolf just moves as soon as you click the arrow. So you don't really need to think about what you're doing. It's too easy. Okay, then the second thing you need to do is you need to click on the pen down icon. So you need to click on the green pen in that circle there, look. Okay, and you'll see straight away, this is where your algorithm appears, your list of instructions. And the first instruction you have given the wolf is pen down. And what that does is it that draws the root as you go so you can see it. Okay, now the wolf hasn't moved yet because I haven't told it to move, I've just told it to put the pen down. The wolf can't do anything unless I tell it to do it. Okay, that's how algorithms work. I am programming the wolf, okay, with my list of my code. So the next thing I'm going to do, well, I want to go to the straw house first, so I'm going to move forwards. So I'm going to click forward. And there you can see it says forward. It hasn't moved yet. Now the reason it hasn't moved yet is because I haven't pushed play. When you push this triangle button here, it's the same on all electronics, the triangle button means play, it will move through that um, algorithm. So you watch it will move through it. So pen down, move forward. You can see that there's a red line there and that's because I put pen down so you can see where I moved. Now I can see that moving forward just once wasn't enough. Okay, so I know my next instruction, I'm going to click forwards again. And when I click play, the wolf will start again from the beginning. Okay, and it'll go through that algorithm. So now I've moved forward twice and I can see that's enough for the wolf to get to the straw house, okay? So the second thing you need to remember is these lefts and rights, okay? Now you have to be careful because it's the wolf's left and right. So at the minute, if I click right, he'll turn that way. But if the wolf is facing the other way around, his left and right is the opposite to how we're seeing left and right on the screen, okay? So say for example, you clicked the wrong way. If I clicked left, and then I pushed play and I watched it and I realized, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant for that wolf to go right. So this is where you debug your algorithm, okay? Your code. So this one here, I don't want that one. Can you see there's a little cross? All I need to do is click on that. And then this is the most important thing to do children. Keep checking as you go along. It's so much easier to debug one um, instruction in your algorithm, one line of code um, as you go along than it is to try and do it all at the end when it's gone completely wrong. You, it's really hard to work out where it's gone wrong then. So every time you give um, the wolf an instruction, push play, see if it works. Okay, so now I want to turn right. So I'm just gonna check that again, again, push play, check that you're happy with it. Forward, forward, right, yes, that's heading in the right direction. So I think, oh, it's gotta move forward loads this time. So I'm just gonna push this a load of times. Okay, play. Forward, forward, right, it's forward, 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 forward. Oh dear, it's, it's gone off the map. So what am I going to do? Debug, that's right, I moved forward far too many times. So one, two, three, four, I think I need to get rid of four of those. Okay, I think that's right, but just to make sure I'm gonna push that play button to make sure I'm happy. So forward, forward, right, forward, forward, forward. Yes, because now I'm gonna turn left towards the stick house, okay? So the, the, there are three things that you need to remember, okay? 
pen down so that you can see the drawn route. So that's the first thing. Second thing, push play, that circle button there, with the triangle in the middle, um, to check your route after each piece of code, each line of code is um, put in, okay? And finally, if you've gone wrong, because you've kept pressing play each time, it's really easy to debug by just clicking on that cross, okay? So when you're happy with everything for that one, and you've managed to get the wolf to all three houses, you don't have to go that route. You could go up further before turning right and go to the stick house that way, okay? And then you might want to go across and then down to the brick house, or you might want to go straight down or even backwards, because there is a backwards button as well as a forwards button. It's totally up to you how you get to each house as long as you get to each of them, okay? And maybe you might want to do one route and then start again and do another route. That's absolutely fine. So if you want to clear it all, you can click this rubber here. Okay, clear all commands. Yes, but be careful. That does get rid of the whole lot. Okay, so the rubber rubs out the whole lot, whereas the um, cross you can use to debug just one line of code. Okay. So if you want to try one of the other maps, the other backgrounds, you click on the star here and it comes up with space and desert adventure. So if you click on desert adventure, it says all your, what you've previously done will be lost. That's fine, we're not saving our work. And you can always go back to it if you want to have another go. So this time we've got a camel and the aim of this one is to get the camel to the oasis because the camel's thirsty and it needs a drink. Okay, so it works exactly the same. So remember, pen down, it's already on advanced, but if it's not put it on advanced, pen down, push play after each line of code that you have inputted and then debug as you go along. If you've gone wrong, click on the cross to get rid of it. Okay, and then the last one you can try is space adventure. And this time you've got to try and get the rocket to eat, visit each of the planets. You've actually got to go onto the planet and something will happen. I'll let you see what it is that happens. Okay, now just to show you that if you don't put the pen down and you move straight away, push play, you don't get the route drawn on to the map, okay? So I think that you're gonna have lots of fun with that and um, enjoy your afternoon session. That's everything.